do not bother yourself to become too much infatuated with Krishna. Rather, act in such a way that Lord Krishna may become ever more infatuated with you. By dancing and chanting in the proximity of Radharani's infinite love flame. Radharani Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Ram Hare Ram Ram. You know, that is Sankirtan. Mahamantra Sankirtan means soul is dancing in the proximity of Radha's love flame. What happens? You see, it's described how the spirit spark has fallen away from the fire. You know, and and sometimes lands on dry grass, sometimes on wet grass, or sometimes in water and is completely extinguished compared to Sattva Gun, Raju Gun, and Tamogun. You know, like that, when he falls into this material. Karanam Guna Sangasa, Sarasad Janma Yonishu. So, um, so when the spirit spark falls away, then the natural brilliance of the soul is uh, diminished terribly. But when the spark comes into the proximity of the fire, then the spark begins to glow brilliant again. So if you have a fire, a big fire, that looks very nice, like if you're sitting around the fireplace. So the... Um, uh, when, this, when, the, when you're watching a fire, it, fire looks nice, but what makes the fire look nice, even more nice, is when there are many sparks dancing around. Then the fire, fire looks like it's an ecstasy. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. If there's no fire, then okay, it's nice. But if there's some sparks you know, dancing around on the top of the fire, then the fire looks very, uh, let's say, extraordinarily beautified by the sparks. Sparks are insignificant. In of themselves the sparks have practically no power. But when dancing in proximity of the fire, they serve to beautify the fire, right? Similarly, the fire itself is beautifying the spark because without the fire, without the proximity of the fire, or without being in the fire's proximity, the spark, you know, wouldn't have its natural resilience. Or radiance, I mean to say. You know, so... So therefore, Sankirtan means to dance in the proximity of Radha's love flame. Radha's love flame is also represented in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his performance of Sankirtan. So dancing in the Sankirtan of, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you know, just like at the Keturi festival, Nartam Das Thakur's chanting was so powerful and pure that the whole Panchatattva, including Lord Chaitanya, you know, came to dance in their midst. And in fact, you know, anyone who's chanting Shudanam, you know, can elicit the presence of Lord Chaitanya and Lord Nityananda, at least in the form of their holy names. So therefore the 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 uh, the presence of of Harinam and Harenam, Haranam, you know, Nadhanam, you know, means that that um, by many devotees dancing and chanting in proximity of the holy name the performance of, or the the holy name becomes glorified, right? Mm -hmm. And at the same time, the natural uh, Krishna consciousness, or you can say, that natural street disposition of the soul, which is feminine in quality, which is pure ananda, pure bliss in, in the matter of selfless service to the lotus feet of God and Krishna, you know, becomes illuminated in the heart of the devotee. That street disposition becomes uh, illuminated. In other words, uh, enlightened. The spark by associating in the Sankirtan performance 
you know, chanting Mahamantra Sankirtan, that becomes enlightened and becomes scientifically acquainted with his own natural street disposition as a, 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 a minute, let's say, uh, eternally separated aspect of that counterpart feminine you know aspect of divinity you don't get bhakti you get freedom from material contamination and art and divinity which is useful to a certain extent, but only to a certain extent. Crying and crying and crying for Lord Chaitanya's mercy. Shudanam cannot be chanted by anyone. Shudanam has to condescend by his own free will to descend from Goloka, Goloka Premanam, Harinam Sarvam, dance on your tongue. It's Shudanam dancing. It's looking like the devotee is chanting, so the devotee is getting credit <laughs> for being the instrument. But actually, it is Nam by his own sweet will, dancing on the tongue of the devotee. It's not the devotee chanting. It's Nam dancing, making it look like the devotee is chanting. But in reality, is Nam dancing. And only when Nam is satisfied, pleased in some way, by the, generally, by the mistata determined, you know, uh, strong, strongly determined uh, nam bhajan. Then when Krishna sees that you're actually serious, you're trying to do nam bhajan, you're doing avas nam bhajan, but Krishna sees that if you're, if you're actually crying, it's not that you're not supposed to cry for Krishna's mercy when you're chanting the holy name. At least that, you know, that that kind of crying we have to start with. Mm. And anyone can start with it. Because it's not that you have to be high, 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 you know, exalted devotee to start crying because you can't cry for Krishna's mercy. Fool number one, hard-hearted nonsense. Rascal. At least we can cry, you know, because we're, we can cry for mercy because we're so fallen. It doesn't take much intelligence. That's the meaning of Sumedasa. Jagyai Sankirtana Prayarya Jantihi Sumedasa. It means to recognize, enough intelligence to recognize that you're fallen, that you're one of the petite people of this Kali Yuga. And therefore, we need to take shelter of the process that that Lord Chaitanya, who appears as the golden Yuga Avatar, acting in the capacity of Yuga Avatar, he establishes the Yuga Dharma, Sankirtan Jagya. And primarily, he, he, he establishes Mahamantra Sankirtan. Other mantras and, you know, Goswami songs and these things, they may be considered as expansions of the Mahamantra, but the Mukya mantra for this age of Kali is Hare Krishna Mahamantra. That is the Tarak Brahma Kirtan mantra for this age of Kali.
because you have a desire you know to please Krishna because our Sadhu Sangha should have impressed that upon us from the very beginning from the time we walk through the doors of the Krishna Consciousness Movement we're supposed to be trained about the importance of considering the pleasure of Guru and Krishna therefore we sacrifice for their pleasure. We learn the principle of sacrificing for their pleasure without any ulterior motives involved. Simply to please Krishna. And that, and that is genuine pure devotional training. Such a person who has that kind of shadhanagati, who has that, who is shradhavan, he has the right under the auspices of the Guru Parampara to perform Sankirtan Jyagya. Even though he may be on the clearing stage in the beginning, but the aim is to satisfy <laughs> Krishna. Because that groundwork is there. Because the ground, the heart is becoming softened by the cultivation of that temperament, that mood of desiring to satisfy Krishna. Means Anukulena Krishna Anushilanam. Means Krishna Indriya Priti Ishta, they have the desire to satisfy the senses of Krishna. It means that we're from the very beginning. Shraddha means the seed of Prema. Shraddha is not the seed of anything other than the Prema Bhakti Lata. From the Prema Bhakti Lata, you can expect to get the fruit of Prema. Ultimately, the ripened fruit of Prema. So, you know, these things we need to consider if we're going to actually perform Sankirtan Jogya in a viable way as instruments in the hands of the predecessor Acharyas. Otherwise, you know, what the hell are we doing? Fun and games. But if we want to spread the bhakti cult, if we actually want to assist in spreading Lord Chaitanya's Sankirtan movement, which is meant for the purpose of broadcasting love of Godhead to the fallen conditioned souls of this world. Love of Godhead means prema bhakti, please. So it's got to be based, you know, if it's, if it's not based on the, 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 the actual seed, of the Prema Bhakti Lata, pure devotional Shraddha, then what is it? It's Shraddha Abbas, which means Bhakti Abbas, which means Baba Abbas. You know, and you'll never get Prema that way. So our purpose in performing Sankirtan is for the purpose, is, is for augmenting Bhakti in the hearts in our hearts and in the hearts of the people who associate with us. There should be no other purpose, there should be no other purpose, there should be no other purpose.